Finally, with the help of these configurations, CFSE can be calculated as shown in the table given below. So here is a table which deals with calculation of CFSE for metal atom or ion with configuration D4, D5, D6 or D7 using the concept of electron pair energy P. So, again we have four columns. In the first column, we have the configuration in the D subshell of the metal atom or ion. In the second column, we have two aspects, delta O less than P, that is for weak ligands, or delta O more than P, that is for strong ligands. In the third column, configuration in the ligand fields in both the cases will be shown. Similarly, in the last column, net CFSE in terms of delta O and P will be shown. So let us begin with D4 configuration. The first part is delta O less than P, that is weak ligand. The configuration in the ligand field or crystal field will be T2G111, EG10. And CFSC will be equal to minus 0.4 into 3 plus 0.6 into 1 times delta O. That is equal to minus 0.6 delta O. Look here, no P term is involved. But in the D for itself, if we consider the next aspect, that is delta O is more than P for the strong ligand, then the configuration in the ligand field will be T2G211, EG00. And the CFSC will be equal to minus 1.6 delta O plus P. Similarly, for D5, in the first half, delta O less than P with weak ligands, the configuration becomes T2G111, EG11, and CFSE comes out to be zero. But in the second half, if delta O is more than P, that is for strong ligands, the configuration becomes T2G221, EG00. And CFSE will be calculated as minus 0.4 into 5 plus 0.6 into 0 times delta O plus 2P because there are two pairs of electrons formed. So this whole comes out to be equal to minus 2.0 delta O plus 2P. For D6 metal atom or ion, when delta O is less than P, weak ligand field, the configuration becomes T2G211, EG11, CFSC will amount to, as calculated here, minus 0.4 delta O. But if delta O is more than P, the case for strong ligands, the configuration will become T2G222, EG00. And CFSC will be equal to minus 2.4 times delta O plus 2P. Finally, for D7 metal atom or ion configuration, when delta O is less than P, that is for weak ligand, the configuration in the crystal field will be T2G221, EG11, and CFSA is equal to minus 0.8 times delta O. Finally, if delta O is more than P, that is for a strong ligand, the configuration becomes T2G222, EG10, and CFSC comes out to be minus 
times delta O plus P. Let us solve some numerical questions based on lambda max, delta O and CFSE.